Uh, don't really have an explanation for you, but you know, when a runner gets on base, uh, I mean, that's obviously a pitcher's goal is to not have them score. Um, so I'm just trying to keep doing that. Do you find yourself bearing down any harder at any situations with men on base rather than not with men on base? I like to think I'm always bared down on them. Um, but, you know, when you're backed into a corner, you, you never know what's going to come out. You know, with the bases loaded, uh, maybe maybe I bared down a little harder. Um, tough to say, but I feel like I'm always pretty bared down out there. You had three key at-bats against Mercedes today. Did you change your pattern every at-bat uh, as you went through the game with him? Um... Yeah, didn't show. I mean, didn't show him the same sequence uh, each time. Uh, used all my pitches against him. Um, obviously, he's you know one of the better hitters in the league. You know, guys hitting 350 or, or something, something like that. And uh, so definitely had to had to bear down on him and you know uh, watch the double ups. Not really uh, try not to give him something good to hit. You know. Thank you. Katie Wu with The Athletic. On over the season so far, you've solidified yourself as one of the more consistent starters in this rotation. And when you go out there, the teams pretty much know they're going to get around five innings and not a lot of runs are going to score. How much pride do you take into that, knowing how much you wanted to be a starter and how you've been able to be so consistent? Uh, I take pride in it. Um, I take pride in it for sure, but it, I just have so much fun being out there playing baseball. That's what it's about for me, just just going out and, and competing for the team and just uh, just trying to do everything I can to uh, give us a chance to win the game. Well, speaking of fun, then how, how awesome was it for Williams to make that play there and grab the runner, or not the runner at home? That was huge. That was clutch. You know, uh, a lot of times whoever scores first wins the ball game. And, uh, you know, Willie stopped him from scoring first just then. So so that was huge. Um, can't speak enough about the defense. You know, uh, we've got an elite defense, and uh, the boys are making plays. Thank you. You're welcome. Mike Reeves, Illinois Radio. John, you used the term pride just a minute ago. Does that also apply to taking the mound when the teams are struggling a little bit, three straight losses, and, and, and being out there to, to put an end to that streak? Does, does the word pride also apply to that? Um, I mean, I guess so. If you want to apply it, I, I suppose you could you could apply it anywhere you want. Um, but uh, like I said, just just about going out there and trying to trying to put the team in position to win the game. You know what I'm saying? Give up less runs than their starting pitcher gives up. And uh, today, as a team, we made it happen. Zach Silver, MLB.com. John, were you by chance in the dugout during that seventh inning with, with Gio? Do you have any idea what happened with that, or any idea what to make of what happened? I was not in the dugout, but. Uh, it, it looked like some BS to me. That's all I want to say about it.